Deep in the heart of Mali, a new chapter in Africa's history is being written. A chapter of innovation, resilience, and economic transformation. The Sahel region, often misunderstood and misrepresented, is taking bold steps toward a future defined not by dependency, but by self-reliance and progress. Today, Mali stands at the forefront of this transformation. Under the leadership of President Asimi Goita, the nation has launched its first ever lithium processing factory, a groundbreaking achievement that places Mali firmly on the global map of electric vehicle engineering. While the world is quick to label Mali's leadership as a military junta, the reality on the ground tells a different story. This leadership is pro-people, pro-development, and focused on harnessing Mali's vast natural resources for the benefit of its citizens. At the heart of this revolution lies the Gulamina mine, located in southern Mali. This vast deposit of lithium is now home to a state-of-the-art processing plant, the first of its kind in the nation's history. Lithium, often referred to as white gold, is a critical component in the batteries that power electric vehicles. As the world races toward cleaner energy solutions, Mali is stepping onto the global stage as a key player in this green revolution. Experts estimate that this mine could be operational for over 23 years, producing up to 500,000 tons of spodum and concentrate annually. This production capacity could soon make Mali the largest producer of lithium in West Africa. The Gulamina project is a clear sign of commitment of President Asimi Goida's desire for strategic partnerships. It is 65% owned by Ganfeng Lithium, a global leader in the sector based in China. But what sets this project apart is the significant role played by the Malian state, which holds a 30% stake in the venture. The remaining 5% is owned by local investors, ensuring that Malians have a tangible stake in the nation's future. This ownership structure is a direct result of Mali's newly adopted mining code, a bold reform enacted in August 2023, designed to increase national participation in strategic mining projects the new code ensures that the benefits of Mali's resources remain within its borders. The economic impact of the Gulamina mine is already being felt. Annual revenues are projected to reach 100 billion CFA francs, approximately 160 million US dollars. But the benefits go far beyond government coffers. Under the new mining code, Malian companies will be awarded at least 51% of subcontracting contracts, generating a potential turnover of 250 billion CFA francs annually, nearly $400 million. These opportunities are expected to create thousands of jobs and foster the development of local skills in mining, engineering, and logistics. In addition to employment, part of the mine's revenue will be channeled into critical infrastructure projects, including energy, transportation, and water supply systems. These investments will not only improve the quality of life for Malian citizens, but also lay the foundation for sustainable economic growth. The success of the Gulamina mine is sending a clear message to the world. Mali is open for business. The project has already attracted international attention, and experts predict that more foreign investors will look to Mali for opportunities in mining and resource development. From gold to lithium and beyond, Mali's mineral wealth is vast and largely untapped. With its new mining policies and brave leadership of Asimi Goida, the nation is positioning itself as a leader in ethical and sustainable resource management, setting an example for the rest of Africa. The Gulamina mine is not just a story about lithium or Mali. It is part of a larger narrative unfolding across the Sahel. Countries like Burkina Faso, Niger, and Chad are rejecting exploitative arrangements and reclaiming control of their natural resources. Together, they are forging a path toward self-reliance and regional unity. This movement is a declaration of independence, not just from colonial powers, but from the economic systems that have long kept African nations on the sidelines of global progress. The road ahead is not without challenges. Mali must navigate complex global markets, address logistical hurdles, and ensure that the benefits of the Gulamina project reach all its citizens. But with its resources, leadership, and vision, Mali is well-equipped to meet these challenges head-on. As the demand for electric vehicles continues to rise, the global spotlight will remain on Mali. The nation has the potential not only to transform its economy, but also to contribute significantly to the global transition to clean energy.
Mali's story is one of resilience, determination, and hope. It is a story of a nation that refuses to be defined by its past, but instead chooses to shape its own future. As the lithium from Gulamina powers the world's electric vehicles, Mali is powering something even greater, a new vision for Africa, a vision of empowerment, independence, and progress.